Hello. If you have an old lathe, you probably will soon get tired of changing the belts every time you want to alter the speed of the chuck. It's not so difficult to change over the motor and purchase a VFD, but the difficult part is how to preserve the existing safety interlocks and to integrate them into the existing interlock controller. So this video will be about how I achieve this. Okay, here's the test fit of the new controller. It's, it's pretty obvious now that there's plenty of room and uh, in the final version I intend to mount it a bit more securely. Uh, the board that you can see comprises just two 12 volt relays along with a 400 ohm resistor, but a bit more on this in a few moments. Note that if you don't have a circuit diagram for the wiring of the lathe, it will require a bit of work to trace the function of each of the connections on the lathe's terminal strip. But it's not too difficult a task and just requires a voltage meter and a bit of patience. Just for interest's sake, I thought I would show you the old controller. You can see that it was quite cumbersome and took up a lot of space. So it was quite an easy decision to throw it out and to start again with a new design. OK, we are now going to discuss how the circuit works. If you're not interested, please feel free to skip forward. The circuit diagram on the screen shows the overall connection between the VFD, the relays, and the lathe's terminal strip. Of course, it's very likely that the numbers on your terminal strip will certainly be different from mine. Here we have the power on state, now shown in red. The important thing to note is that the secondary relay is pulling the VFD's reset line low using the DCM signal. And so it will remain in this state until the relays are energized. So if we push the green start button, a circuit is made to ground through this line here. And as a consequence, it will energize both relays. And it will remain in this state and even if the green button is released. Of course, if any of the interlocks are open, then the circuit will revert to the power on state. As just mentioned, the green start button has now been released but because the primary relay has an alternate path to ground through this link here, the circuit will remain on. Finally, let's wrap up the video with just a short demonstration of how the VFD and the controller work on my lathe. You can see here that the VFD is in the re reset state. It will remain in this state until all the interlocks are in place and the start button has been pushed. <laughs> 